Hey guys, welcome to Mobility and Meditation. So we all know how important it is to stay mobile, to keep our joints moving and healthy, and that is going to improve how we feel and function. It's also gonna keep us connected to our bodies in an entirely different way, which is where the mindfulness and meditation piece comes in. So today what we're gonna do is learn some mobility exercises that'll really get you connected, mind and body, to your joints and how they move and notice how good that makes you feel, how much better it makes you feel and how that is going to improve your life and improve the function of your body for a very long time. So it's gonna be simple, we're gonna stay mindful and then we're gonna close with some meditation and get really connected to our breath, okay? so. Let's start standing up, and we're just gonna start really easy with some arm swings. And you're just letting those arms swing across your body. There's a little rotation in your spine. Don't worry too much about this. In fact, don't worry about anything. Just allow your body to move intuitively. So let your hips go with you a little bit. We're just getting a little bit of rotation and swing of the arms. And now come to center and take one arm and circle it way up and back way up and back and again and reverse so we're not really working too hard on stability right now we're not super aware in terms of what we're concentrating on and focusing on we just really want other side to get our joints moving to get that synovial fluid in the joints keeping us feeling good and reverse the arm around around and around now with some stability Take a nice bend in the knees and then take both arms up and back. So now we are maintaining a stable base and reverse the arms up and around, up and around one more, up and around and then just stand up and squeeze the arms back. Just little mini knee bends, just a mini. So we're flexing right now the ankle joint, the knee joint and the hip joint while moving the arms forward and back. So there's some coordination and some balance happening. And one more, and let's come to center. And if you need a chair or something to help you with balance today, please make sure you get that or go near a table. We are going to take one leg up and give it a squeeze and put it down, and the other leg squeeze and put it down and squeeze. Just taking your time, slow and easy, control it. And up, and up, stay connected to your body, up. And then just take a nice wide turnout, lift up, inhale, and exhale. And again, fill up with breath, inhale, and exhale, and inhale up, and exhale. Okay, just shake it out a little bit, maybe circle your ankles and wrists, just get a little mobility there. Circle ankles and wrists. And now we're gonna just take some shoulder circles with some knee bends. Up and around, up and around. Circle, circle, bend and lift. Make sure you're maintaining a lift in your core to stay stable and keep your posture good. Reverse and up and around. Let it feel good, move intuitively. Take care of yourselves. And then just step to the side, swing. Step to the side, swing. So we are controlling our bodies, connecting the mind and body. So you have control over your body as opposed to being at its mercy. Don't worry too much about matching my arms exactly or the width of my stance. Let your body just move. So we have to get a little bit warm, get the blood pumping before we get too deep into any of the flexibility stretching stuff, which we're going to, and relax. Okay, so we're gonna take a seat. If sitting on the ground cross-legged is uncomfortable for you, if you have problems with your lower back in that or your hip flexors are super tight, get a towel, a pillow, a blanket, roll it up, or if you have a meditation cushion, that's what I'm gonna use. Something that will elevate your hips for you to sit on. So when you're sitting elevated, it can even be an ottoman, so you're not even 
this close to the ground. When you're elevated, it allows your knees to drop that way and your hip flexors to be a little more released. So, we're gonna lift the belly. We're gonna connect to our breath. Inhale, as we move. And exhale down. Think moving meditation. So, connecting breath to movement mindfully. Inhale. Feeling your entire body, exhale, filling up with breath and emptying your breath. And one more, inhale and hold. Now, clasp your fingers together and flip your palms, press them up, and take a little twist to the side. Lift, 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 hold, breathe. And a little twist to the side, lift, 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 hold, breathe. And then twist to the other side again and release your arms and take one hand to the outside of your thigh and one hand behind you. Lift and twist. And then bring your arms up and other side. Lift and twist. And come up. Release your arms down. And just for a moment, let your eyes come to a soft downward gaze. Feel what part of you is touching the floor, the earth, the pillow, the blanket, the ottoman, the chair. And just feel that part of your body, your sitting bones, your feet, your legs, grounded into the earth. And we'll take three very conscious, mindful breaths together. Inhale, filling up with breath. And exhale. sitting on and remove it. We're going to lay on our backs, do some mobility work in a reclined supine position. So if your neck is uncomfortable here, you can put a light little pillow or rolled up towel under your head. You just want to protect your cervical spine, the bones in your neck. You don't want them pushing into the floor, the mat, the pillow. So we're going to start with the right leg. Right leg, engage your belly. Keeping the hip, knee flexed. You're gonna lift the knee in and then stretch it out on the floor and lift it up and put it down. And again, it comes in and out and up. This is gentle and easy. It's not a big kick. It's not a huge hamst hamstring stretch, although there is some of that happening. We are mobilizing the hip joint and in while going from flexion to extension in the knee joint and in and out and up and down and the belly is pulling in, protecting your spine and in and up and down. We'll do the other side. So the knee comes in, it goes out on the floor, lifts to the sky and lowers down. It's bent and then it's straight. Flexion and extension and in and lift. So we go to flexion, hip, knee, extension, hip, knee, up and down through movement and breathing, connection to your body. You are in control of it. It's not controlling you. Two more. And in and up. One more. And in and up. Okay, now. You're gonna roll onto one side with your knees bent, stacking your legs. So laying on your arm, you're gonna take the top arm out in front of you and then lift it up and open to a twist and then forward, forward, forward. Now, it's also available to you as an option to have both arms here and you can have your head down here or on the pillow. Either way, whatever feels more intuitive for you. Up and open the chest, breathe into the chest, and come forward and together. And up, 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 open, and together. And one more, 
And this time you're gonna hold the open, hold this rotational stretch and breathe. Couple of slow, mindful breaths, always sending the breath into your body. And on your exhale, look for the release in your muscles and your joints. And come back. Okay, you can just flip to your other side. I'm gonna come up and over. Laying on your side body with your knees bent. You can have your arm out here so you can lay on it. And the other arm here, I'll show both ways. So bring the arm up and open. And remember, our two sides are gonna feel different. And over, or you can have the arms here with the head down. Up, open, 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 open and forward, 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 and up, open, 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 and forward, forward, and one more, and this is our hold, 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 breathe, and come forward, and then bring yourself up to your hands and knees so we can work some spinal mobility. So we've worked some rotation, and now we're gonna work some flexion and extension. This is a great sequence to do on your rest days or recovery days, or right before bed, or when you wake up in the morning, really anytime you feel like you need that connection and gentle movement. So we're gonna take the spine warm up, tuck your toes, it always starts with the feet, and then inhale, lift the sitting bones, push into the floor as you lift your chest, Filling up with breath, and then the tops of the feet come down first. Exhale, round, round, round. Dome your upper back, push into the floor, drop your head, get empty and stay there. Tuck the toes. Inhale. And tops of the feet down. Exhale, round, round, round. And two more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale around, last one. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale round, round, round. And then come back to a neutral spine, tuck the toes, lift the knees a little bit, and then lift your hips back to this very short, bent knee, crouching down dog, and move your spine forward. Inhale forward, exhale it back. The whole spine is moving from your middle, inhale. Use your breath, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Come back to center, lower the knees. Now we're gonna take a little child's pose, but we're gonna keep moving again from the spine. This time, rounding and extending, come forward, and the extension is full as you lower the hips, so it's a fuller extension rather than just being on the hands and knees, we're moving it. Round, round, round. So it's just like cat-cow, but moving forward and back. Come forward. Move to your own degree. Remember to follow your intuition. Your body is highly intelligent. Never sacrifice the intuition of the body for the glory of the ego. And forward, and then one more time. Back, 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 and relax. Okay, we're gonna lay on the back and do some breathing exercises before we close with the meditation. So, to really get into the breath in our body, you're gonna take one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest or rib cage. Wherever they land, just let them land intuitively. Now we're gonna take a long, slow inhale just to release everything. So go ahead and fill up with breath. And open your mouth and empty the breath out. And you can close your eyes here if you can open. And now, on the inhale, you're gonna fill only the belly. Try to keep the rib cage and chest still. So fill up slowly the belly, and then empty the belly out. Once again like that. Fill up the belly. and then empty the belly out. Now think ribs and chest only, try to keep the belly still. 
inhale, up right torso. And exhale, chest line. Still belly, and then you get the chest close. Once again, inhale, up the torso. Pop into the throat, find some space. Exhale. So now we're going to inhale into the belly and then move it into the chest. And then exhale, reversing direction, like a weight. So, empty out. Start in the belly. Inhale. Move it into the chest. And then exhale, chest first. And then belly. Inhale, belly. Chest. And exhale, chest. Belly. Now, we're going to inhale into the belly and the chest and exhale from the belly and the chest. So just follow along. Inhale into the belly, then the chest, and then the belly first. Exhale, and then the chest. Then inhale into the belly, then the chest, and exhale, belly. So, relax, just natural breath. Go ahead and bring your right knee in and just give it a squeeze. Just a nice, easy squeeze, maybe move it around. So that breathing exercise helps us connect our left and right brain as we get deeper into our mindfulness practice and connecting our mind and body, deepening the relationship of the mind and body, the integration of the mind, body, and spirit. Change legs. <clears throat> Pull it in, just give it a little natural, intuitive squeeze, a little love in that hip joint. And I'd like you to find a comfortable seat. So if that's on the floor, a meditation cushion on a rolled up towel or a pillow, great. If it's on a chair, that's fine too. Wherever you can sit comfortably with your tall spine and your open chest without feeling strain in your back and hips. So we're just gonna sit and get really connected. Mind, body, spirit, and breath. <clears throat> so find that seat, wherever it is for you. Feel what's connected to the chair or the floor, sitting bones, feet, wherever you are. Feel that uplift in your spine and the openness of your chest. Palms either facing up on your lap or facing down on your lap, or they can be cut together in front of you right in the middle. And allow the eyes to either close all the way or just have a soft downward gaze, with the eyelids barely open. And right away, just feel the sensations in your body. Notice any sensations in your body, any places that might feel warm, any places that might feel freer or stiff, anything whatsoever. Just notice your body and try to focus on your forehead and soften your forehead and your brow. About your jaw and soften your jaw. Allow the neck and shoulders to soften. And feel the chest and clavicle and upper back soften. Your abdomen, the organs in your body. Middle back and lower back. Breathe into those spaces. Breathe into your arms and hands and fingers. Your hips and Satan. Try to get some release there. In your legs, upper legs, and lower legs. Letting go of feet and toes. Breathe out all tension. Feel that uplift of your spine. 
feet are sitting bones rooting into the earth, top of the head, lifting up, up, up to the sky, as if you are the connection between earth and sky. Just taking your natural place as a bridge between the two. Allow your body and your breath to let go with every breath out. Let there be a sense of surrender in that. And if you feel your thoughts or your mind floating away, it's simply a practice of coming back. And that's what meditation is, is a practice. Coming back to the breath, helps to focus your attention on your third eye between your brow. Notice how the air coming in is cooler than the air going out. And just know that the balance and insight you cultivate here will go everywhere you go throughout your day, throughout your life. And let's slowly all blink the eyes to a soft downward gaze and extend the arms out. Inhale the arms up, up, up and bring the palms together and let your palms touch your forehead for quality of thought, to your mouth for quality of speech, and to your heart for quality of action. Letting our light shine through what we think, what we say, and what we do. Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm always open to feedback. If there's more you'd like to see in other videos, please write to me and um, namaste.